Hello and welcome to Analyst Hangout. I am Perpetua Fasami Peter. Well, uh, as always, I'm not alone on the show, but let me tell you that on the first part of the show today, we will review activities in the stock market and corporate actions during the week. So, I have um, Ambrose Somodio, the CRO of Invest Data Consulting, right here with us. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me again, Perpetua. All right. Thank you. And yes, Charles Fakroha, uh, thank you for coming, a stockbroker and business analyst. Thank Absolutely. You. And virtually, we are joined by Kasim Kurufi Garuba, the MD, APT Securities and Fonts Limited. Hello, good to have you join us today. I'm happy to be with you. All right. And also joining us are Jari Ogbetunde Shego. He's an independent stock market analyst with Tradelines.biz Investment Limited. Thanks for joining us on the show. You're welcome, my sister. Right. Well, let's start uh, with the stock market uh, right now. Let's see what happens. The Nigerian stock market in August extended its pullbacks and bearish trend for the third consecutive month, being a deviation from the two-year historical pattern of closing positive back-to-back -back in 2020 and 2021. However, a recovery was seen in the last trading session of the month on position taking among blue chips in expectation of more interim dividend paying bags results and economic data. During the month under review, the key performance all share index shed 533.74 basis points, closing at 49,836.51 basis points after torching a low of 48,511.58 basis points and highs of 50,740.18 basis points from the 50,370.25 basis points it opened the month with, representing a 1.06% decline. The buying volume of total transactions for the month was 59%, while the selling position was 41%. Market capitalization for the month lost 280 billion naira, closing at 26.88 trillion naira from an opening value of 27.16 trillion naira, and that represents a 1.03% value loss. Well, Ambrose, we'll start with you. Talk to us about this. Yeah, it's good. I said that the month of uh, August has been always a missed month. Closing a uh, negative, I'm not surprised. Like you said, you know, after back to back for the previous years, you know, 2022 coming down, I'm not surprised. And also, don't forget that what is happening globally is also influencing, you know, activities down here. But we're seeing that the month of uh, the September is started on a good note. Also, don't forget that this same uh, pattern of up and down we saw in the month of August are likely to repeat itself in the month of uh, September. But the good thing is that September is the last trading month for the third quarter that usher in another earnings season in October. That means you know, in this first two trading, we might see this oscillation up and down. But I believe that because of uh, you know, news that are coming to the market, that's why you know, I'm talking about uh, when you are trading market now, it's not only to look at fundamentals alone. News in the market has the world so influencing market activities. We can see that since you know, the release of uh, Stambik IBTC trade results and uh, that of um, Zenith Bank, coupled with uh, you no. Know, Lady Bank coming with the first you no know, payment of the interim ring for the first time. Not only that, you know, it has also extended operation to boost its liquidity and the profitability you no know, margin by trying to you know, acquire you no know, Union Bank London. That tells you that mm -hmm. this bank is going across the board, and that tells you that also there is an area that they can also boost their you know their their performance. I would urge them to after going to London, they should also go to you know to Dubai or to China because well, that is we'll where we'll that is where that later <laughs> on the show. <laughs> but, but, but that the month of September is starting on a good note for me it's a good one for the market but don't be carried away by this uh, three days uh, positive uh, you no know, sentiment we have seen in the market but it's a good start for the month of uh, September. We shouldn't be carried away. No, no, we should no, expect no. Miss, miss mixed panda, okay. then. That's but right. at the last you know two weeks of this <laughs> month we expect the rebound. All but, right. Yeah. That's okay. what's happening. Well, um I think if you look at it very from a trader's perspective it was a good month despite okay. the oscillation <laughs> here and there. And um looking at the macroeconomic variables that were coming to the market were not too favorable but you can see that um, traders were still dogged, investors were still there because you have to look at your portfolio before you do any investment. And if you are the kind of investors with advice, maybe a lot, taking a long-term approach, medium to long-term approach, you could see that you have not really lost. Invest, uh, companies are sending internal report to the market. And if you are in an investor in this company, you are sure of getting those um, benefit. But at the same time, I would just encourage investors that, yes, I'm a little bit bearish. 
for next month, you know, moving forward, because of as we approach our election year, we are bound to see a lot of things to happen. But I will just tell investors that, yes, Naira cost averaging is still your best solution. All right, Naira cost <laughs> averaging. He talked about that last week, and here we are again talking about it. Well, we take a break now. When we come back, we'll continue the conversation. Stay with us.